Well, welcome to my world. I am live and come on in. Welcome to my world. Today, tonight is a very special live stream. I think we are live. I keep saying that. I don't know why. Anyway, I love to um, celebrate today because today is Wednesday. It's what's happening. I started my pre-pre-lunch on a very special day. I started it on a Wednesday. And when I get really good at this, I am going to be able to celebrate once a month a Wednesday and I'm going to celebrate it rocking on with potential um, musicians. So that is my dream is to be able to once a month have on my live podcast people who are musicians. And it's the love of music that my family and our culture that we grew up on. I had a twin brother who was my favorite artist, um, musician, that I grew up listening to the Gibson Les Paul Custom, the Fender Strat, the Telecaster. And I'm just hopeful that musicians will want to come in and share their music with me on a Wednesday, um, once a month. That's 12 times a year. And so that's why I wanted to um, give you a little pre-notice um, pre that next Wednesday, I'm hopeful to um, just maybe get started with one musician that, and if not, I hope to play something. And again, this is a pre-pre-launch. My name is Colleen Liz Frost. I'm in development to my first launch of my business called I Am Rare Presents, and it is a business that will be launching a publishing company and the first book that we're launching is my own that my mother and I wrote um, it is called if you only had one year presents uh, if you only had one year and today I want to talk to you about um, my feather and rock series today it's about the rock and it happens to be what's filled in my toolbox and I am building the foundation here on this Facebook um, personal friend page because that's what all of you are. And um, today I'm wearing my dad. Um, he is my number one rock. He's with me. He's 93. And we just uh, take our naps throughout the day. Um, he is with me, I live in their home. I'm very lucky. I did go to my home and bring my shoes as I've been here almost five and a half years. So I miss my shoes. I put them in the office. Uh, I want to tell you uh, about a little bit about how important um, the rocks are. And I'm, I'm kind of calling all of you um, my foundational rocks too because where else could I possibly be starting um, how to figure out this social, um, this digital world without you. So I first off want to thank all of you for letting me explore this uh, social world, this digital world. I've watched my son, um, I've lurked on all the things that he embraced and he loved technology and of course I love my son. Um, I want to start with um, one of my big missions with the book that I wrote was about becoming a preservationist. And it's one of the missions that I want to go out and, and someday present in a play um, to how to inspire people to become a preservationist. I'm going to start with a quote. There may have been a time when a preservation was about saving an old building here and there, but those days are gone. Preservation is about saving those communities and the values they embody. That's a quote by Richard Moe a National Trust for Historic Preservation. And that is a quote that I saw many years ago and it really helped um, stay with me when I, my twin brother found me an extreme home in Staples, Minnesota. And so many of us um, who have ever lost history, I don't know if, there's, if I'm the only duck that has ever gone through a divorce. I have been happily divorced now for almost 21 uh, years and um, when you lose history, it is a life-altering uh, event. And um, when that happens, um, some people feel like you have to throw that history away. And I was one of those that did feel that way. 
and you had to start over. So for those of us that have to start over um, and find a new history, I was very lucky to have been able to fall in love with history and find staples. I mean, it was not just an old building. For me, it was um, uncovering a national treasure, and that's what happened to us. Um, it didn't come by accident. Um, a year into uh, becoming divorced, I was given the gift of cancer, and this happens to many families, and cancer did change the game. At that time, my son was barely two years old, and when that happens, um, I call that the rainy days. And one thing about the rain, there comes a rainbow. And I, I think that that is when you really start looking for the rocks. So in my toolbox that my mother helped me build and my dad, um, they told me to go and remember the rocks, the foundation. And so while building my digital home that soon you will all be coming to, I am starting with one brick at a time. And soon I'll be able to share with you how each brick that I'm laying will be, and they're called categories on this digital world. You'll be able to very soon um, come on in my digital home and pick one brick at a time to explore my digital foundational home. And it will be very easy to navigate as I'm learning how to categorize the rooms in my home. So that's what I'm working on. If you have had leaders that have taught the word possibilities, start asking them who the rocks were of your childhood and who the rocks are in your communities. This is how you start finding a purpose of building, of becoming a preservationist. It was very easy for me to do this um, when I got the diagnosis of cancer and my parents with their toolbox and my dad with his firm understanding of how to build possibilities. Now, for those of you, when it rains, I suggest getting a pair of wellies. Um, there is the first Duke of Wellington that invented the wellies. They are the rain boots. And I think that it's very important to get out in the rain get out in the rain and start working on your dream. Find those rocks. They're very visible when it's raining. They will help you. And I found that in Staples. We have built a team and I cannot wait for you to meet them. So on this rock report today, I want to thank all of the people in my life who have been the rocks up to this point and to thank you for um, helping me build the foundation. And as you will see, as I unveil the foundation of my digital home, it is my goal to be interviewing them on my podcast. So I will continue the live stream. That'll be part of it on Coach Colleen, the seven days. And then I will have the seven days podcast where I will introduce you to these rocks. So this will take time. And I want to talk to you just briefly about a purpose. Um, I have done with cancer that's helped me live very intentionally. Um, I think it's very important when I want to thank you all. Um, I have very much have had a purpose um, for what I put in and what I read. And my parents helped with that. There's only 24 hours in a day, uh, seven days a week, 30 days in a month roughly. And, and when you are diagnosed and given a year to live, um, I did not put a business plan together. This was almost 18 years ago. This time around, I'm doing it very much on purpose as well. And only this time around, I do have a business plan. So it might seem like a slow pace or that you're not getting enough of the data quick enough, but I want you to be assured that everything I'm doing very much is on purpose. And um, if you're willing to go the distance with me, I want you to trust that I am um, getting my rest. I have uh, the energy for this. 
and I am very much doing it all on purpose. Um, but it will take time, and I'm very, I very much just like tonight. Now I went on to this digital um, cell phone, and I clicked something, and it said I had 356 invites throughout the past umpteen years of people who have invited me to their page to like their pages. Well, that's a very intentional thing that I needed to go to. So I apologize for not, you know, getting to their pages. But again, uh, this is something that I'm ready to do now. Do you know that in the last three and a half weeks, I have had more social things happen than I have had in a long time? When you are practicing the pigeon principles of parenting, you do things very much on purpose um, in our in my culture. So those are the things that now have changed because my son has launched and he is now living his life very much on purpose. And my dad is helping me as he meets with me throughout the day, many times helping me on my business plan. So we don't, I've never have watched TV and my parents very seldom watch TV. And um, so we have lots of time to sort these things out. So I will be reading. My school has 2,700 uh, fellow students, and there's books being produced all the time. And I hope to add their books into my menu. Um, I have lots of uh, invites to these different pages, and I hope to be time managing those. And I have opportunities now to meet with friends, and I hope to manage that. So again, when you are a head coach, which is what I'm responsible to do now, we have fundamentals, I have game times coming, I have practice, and just like back then, we had lots of opportunities in high school to do lots of things. But I had a special teammate, and we had a special job to do. So we had to give up lots of activities in order to get to college to play Division I. So I kind of feel in that same position. So I hope to do better time management to include all these activities. And thank goodness I have the seven days to now help me sort it all out. So if you'll be patient with me and understand that I am very much going to add a purpose to all of these new activities and fit everybody in. Lastly, I have a map and I have many, many people to put on it. And I'm turning it into a very fun game, and you're going to love it. And I, if you are interested, some of you already know that you're going to be on it. So I'm going to put you on this game, and I am going to reach out to you and give you a time spot. And hopefully it will work out for this interview to put you on the map. So many of you have websites already, and I have been lurking on some of you already. So I want to get you get your interview recorded and get people directed to you because I do have plans on uh, shining light on you. And that's coming in the year of 2022 20, uh, and early tw or late 2021 on my timeline. So thank you for letting me spend this time on sharing my foundational work I'm working on. And my dad is instrumental, and I'm, I'm even working on an olden days segment. So I cannot wait to get him up to speed on. We're doing Zoom with the grandkids and so forth, so we're doing some behind-the-scenes stuff, but he really wants to do the olden days series. So I, I look forward to that. This is going to be something good, I promise. But I just wanted to take tonight to tell you that in one week, it's rock on. And I'm looking forward to meeting all these musicians that are on my Facebook wall. I wish that you could have been with Mother and I the last um, year. I said, Mother, I said, I think I have like 34 friends on this Facebook wall. Because I was posting letters to my son every day on this timeline. And she says, well, honey girl, bring that phone over here. I'll, I'll show you. So I was reading off some of these different unique people on here. And so she said, well, that person has a guitar. She says, uh, friend him, friend her. <laughs> we had so much fun. She says, oh, look at that piece of art. 
She says, everyone should have an artist in their back pocket. So now I have quite a few of you artists and musicians. So I want to meet you. So hop on over and send me an email and maybe you can be booked on my once a month Wednesdays Rock On series. I want to have you play for my, uh, I, I am now, I have five of these followers on um, the youtube.com. So I'm not quite sure what all this means, but trust me, I have scheduled one hour a week where I'm watching uh, different coaches on the YouTube to teach me. So I know it's very important and I have time to learn it. Um, and I'm going to be good at this. And this is what I picked for a business. And I do most things on purpose and my son is just cheering me on and I could not be more proud of myself but at the same token um, I don't have to like my son says and mom just think you won't have to clean it I can do all the cleaning for you digitally so these are my bricks and I can't wait to show you my my uh, my brick wall I'm going to show you when I do the walkthrough this is my little toolbox and my dad is downstairs waiting for me. We're going to have muffins and coffee. And this is one of my favorite rocks in my toolbox. It says family. And I want to thank you. And lastly, my dad is the one. And in the book, we talk about these, his favorite song to mother. Tie a little string around your finger and remember me. It was a sign from his childhood. It's the foxtrot and it's dancing. And I know on Facebook, my Facebook friends, there are some dancers that I, that I follow. So thank you for your time and I hope you remember me. And my dad is, down, is going to be keeping me very busy, teaching me about the olden days, talking to me about what's happening right now, and making plans for the future. So thank you for all your encouragement. Thank you for all these things called views. And let's celebrate the wins in your life as well as um, thank you for letting me celebrate the wins that I'm experiencing. And again, it does feel good. As a head coach, I'm telling you, we are winning. And if, being from New York Mills, Show me a good loser and I'll show you a loser. That's what mother told me. So if I am losing, trust me, it's only going to make me work harder. And in New York Mills, we know how to work. And Perm, they wrote the book on it. So thanks again. And preservation, I'm becoming a good one. Take care.